So. Why do people leave this shit in there? So now, poof, we start this guy.
Well then, let's continue flight planning. Oh, I need to find out what the code is for com air. Um, we need wiki. So, Charlie Alpha Whiskey, come here. Oh, it did. Okay, let's make it a new flight. So. So, uh, Charlie Alpha Whiskey is correct. Flight number uh, 201. F O R F O F R. Alternate, let's do use something nearby. Kazane, F Bay, Fox Bravo, Kilo Echo, Fox. Bravo, Kilo Echo. Extra fuel, uh, let's do half an hour because we're gonna fly one or two circuits here in Joburg. What's the weather like? Hello, give me some weather information, my friends. Well, doesn't matter. We do it this way. Two tons of diamonds.
so let's see the weather in Joburg. 0407 knots broken 35 yeah 1022 okay so it's gonna be runway zero three So let's see, we have to There we go. These guys, we have to map them quickly. Well, let me try it through Swift GUI. Oh, where are we now? do it correctly we were last in alpha 1 and we are com air not com air com air yeah there's no preview customize 
It's already three o'clock and they are one hour ahead of us. Great start, new flight. One.
All right, so let's have a look here. So there are stash selected. Zack. They are both Sibo and both Charlie Alpha Whiskey. Com Air.
Route of cockpit, please show me where you want to go. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Show the bottom FMS, uh, enter position FMC pause. F-A-O-R So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake.
so let's see payload two tons cargo I mean payload 16 so passengers weigh 14 tons and cargo two. 100, 134 passengers So two tons of So 16 tons we have now. On oh, fuel we need, how much fuel do we need? Um, 7.3 tons. Is this block fuel or is it takeoff fuel? Let's have a look. Yep, that's block fuel. 7.4 tons. 7,400. Enter. So takeoff weight should be 66 tons. Let's have a look. Estimated, yeah, 66 tons, perfect. Hello Neptune, hello Italy. Neptune, yeah, Nestor. I'd never get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are. We are on with uh, 20 frames. Here you can see this um, script called reality check. Is um, I'll leave it here. Oh, no, it's hidden. How do we do it? Let me um, put it here. Can I change the size? Yep, I can. Yes, we can. So it will only start recording uh, when we are faster than 10 knots ground speed. And then it will uh, record the uh, um, the time in the sim and it will record the time or the distance um, that it should have traveled. Maybe this is better than the approach that the other programs are using. So I need to quickly set up my na my navigation. So they have ILS Zulu 03 left and ILS Yankee 03 left. Yeah, we take ILS Yankee. So course 034 degrees before we finish the FMS setup. 034. Oh, and I have to inject the weather actually. Let's not forget about this. Start weather transfer, minimize, and bin overlay. I have to copy the route. The route. Copy. Paste. Come here, Charlie Alpha Whiskey two zero one. 
36,000. Transition is 8,000 feet. There we go. Minimized. Right, 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 right. So let's finish the bloody FMC. Uh, we said here fuel 7.4, puff reserves. Uh, let me have a look for the reserve fuel. Uh, we said the alternate is Kazane, and that's one ton, and final reserve is 1.1, so that's 2.1 tons. 2.1 tons, final reserve fuel cost index 100. We don't want to fly too slow. And we're gonna cruise at level 360. Puff, done. Oh no. N1 limit. Yeah, temperature 20. Let's not overdo it. 35. D rate 1. Climb 1. Take off. We take flaps 5. Oh, and we said this take off CG is 29.4. Nine point four. Here are the speeds V2 145 knots. We set that here on our speed selector 145 knots. Flight director on, flight director on. And we're gonna climb initially to 8000 feet heading and be nice. Because we will not depart right away to our destination but we're gonna fly a left-hand circuit here in Johannesburg and come back for ILS 03 left once or twice because I wanna check if we get low frame rates and whether the plane will be uh, doing things correct uh, will uh, we gonna be able to measure it here with our new um, tool so we climb straight ahead to DME 3.5 of the ILS, that's on NAV1, but we have to set the frequency, it's 10.3. 10.3, and um, we make a left turn heading 300, and then 210 radio from that view are, well, we just fly a circuit. We climb 8,000 feet. The elevation here is 5,600, so that's not over. It's 2,400 feet above ground. And the VUR 15.2 is the Johannesburg VUR. We keep it active on uh, on NAV2, so we always have a needle pointing to the airport and an independent DME. So I see. Oh, ah, ah cool show you
So, um, I can show you something cool. So, here this is my Swift pilot client and you can see somebody is inbound to the field. Uh, that's 10, 20, 35 miles out, level 175, Mike Whiskey 020. He can't hear me yet. But I'm on Unicom, so I'm gonna start calling him soon. I'll, I'll try. Mike Whiskey 020, uh, you copy on Unicom? Let's see. No, not yet. Is there ATC? No, there's no local ATC here. So we go back to the radar screen. And we can have a look on Unicom. So I'm asking him whether he's using voice too, then we can probably talk to each other soon. Hi Mordkan! So, let's finish our preparation here. So we have set up the FMS, we have set up the cockpit, we have heading and VNAV um, armed, then um, is the bloody boarding finished finally? You probably have to switch on those to make them close the doors. Yep, that's the signal for them. So we're waiting for we're waiting for the cabin signal that they're ready for flight. Uh, Mordka, yep, I'm a real pilot, yep, but I don't fly airliners, I fly, uh, I fly a private jet, so a little bit smaller, but not tiny, tiny, but still smaller than a Boeing 737, and um, that's why I enjoy flying airliners here on the simulator, because I can choose when I want to fly, and not the other way around. Oh, almost forgot, I have to change the setup of my... Um, throttle quadrant because I just changed um, because th something was annoying me really bad so um, this one is now becoming my speed brake if I find them speed brake speed brake where are you yeah speed brakes and this guy is now throttle number one and this guy is now throttle number two because when I was using um, because when I was using them the other way around when this one was my speed brake when I was moving the throttles on one and two I always kept touching this one and resetting the speed brake that annoyed me and I hope that it will be better now with the speed brake on the left side yeah, I'm not your hero. It's just a job. It's a fun job, but yeah, well. So what we do now is um, I will undock I will undock the text window and we go always on top and we go frameless so that's much better so you see 
Now we have this. But I'll leave it here somewhere where you can't see it, so don't worry. And we switch back to the radar and we can observe him. So he's now on the on the right hand downwind we are here. And he's now on downwind for runway 03 right and we will push back now. So why didn't Nancy close the door? Well, there we go. We do it ourselves. Alright then. Park break off. Starting pushback and you may start engines. Alright then, let's say Zack Beacon on. Fuel pumps on. Let's go from top left bottom down here. Yep, that's all good. That's all good. We have pressure here on the duct. This is set correctly and well, let's start engine number two. Okay, the cabin is secured. Have a good flight. Job, I fly a Falcon 2000. It's a French model from Dassault. Falcon 2000. Great aircraft. It's like a, it's like a little airliner, the cockpit. It's really cool. Yep. So, uh, starting engine number one. So we're waiting here for N2 to be about 23-24% and then we set fuel on. <coughs> there we go. So flaps 5 selected, they are extending. Ignition to continuous. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Huh? So. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Okay, let's Have see. A uh, we do our after start flow. Zack, zack. <coughs> on, 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 on. Pumps on. Ignition is set already. Then the packs auto, valve auto, APU off. Taxi light on. We're going to taxi momentarily. Uh, and we just want to switch off the APU. This is all done. And let me quickly install my track IR reflector on my headset. Just a moment. Here 
Here I am. Oh yeah, and something very important. I should probably set my um, my weather, my Q and H correctly. Uh, so yeah, cockpit. No. There we go. F I O R. <coughs> Here's the weather, 60 degrees, 6 knots, that's down the runway almost, broken 4,000 feet, good visibility, more than 10 kilometers, temperatures, plus 2.2, QNH 1021. So let's set QNH 1021, and on the small one too here, on the baby, 1021 is set, and minimum for the approach is 5758. Let's do it two now, because in the air we are not going to have any time. 5758 on the barometric minimum. No, oh. no, 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 no. 5758, yeah? That's it, yeah. Alright then. Let's move it. Park brake off. Taxi view. So, don't get seasick. I'm switching on now my track IR. I need to calibrate it quickly. Now it's done. So, now I have to get used to the throttles to being the right two levers and not the left two levers. Let's see how often I will make it wrong. And let's have a look at the taxi chart. So we are here now. And we turn right on Alpha, we taxi down to all the way to holding point Alpha. Yeah, I turned a bit late, I know. So here on the radar we can still see the other guy on approach. He's about 12 miles out. And now you see this little um, gauge is now getting populated and my frames are just around 20 and 20 is the minimum that we want to see in in, uh, in VATSIM otherwise because it explained if you go below 20 or 19 frames per second you will end up with the situation that the X-plane code is slowing down your time so it can fully calculate your flight model resulting in uh, you being much slower compared to other traffic on the network which is a problem obviously And so the other clients that we have on Watson for Xplane, they do um, they read out the the frames per second that Xplane is um, um, providing here, the blue stuff here. And if the simulator is reporting less than 20 frames per setting per sec per, per second, sorry, for uh, a too long period of time, then it will just disconnect you from the network which in principle is okay but we have had some cases where people have uh, 30 40 50 frames a second for extended periods of time that's what they say and uh, and they still get disconnected which should not happen so 
So we're trying to get it under control with a different approach here, saying uh, and calculating uh, the distance covered per time period, and uh, because as well we know the the time on our computer system, and we can compare how many miles we have. Um, um, performed of distance we have performed um, per second of system time and we can compare it to how many miles we have done in the simulator and then we know as well the thing has slowed down all right let's concentrate uh, oh. landing lights on strobe light on Final cockpit check, so we have flaps 5, green light, auto brake, RTO for reject takeoff, uh, speed brake is stowed, the trim for pitch is set, Q and edge set is correctly, ah, heading buck, ah, there you go, almost missed that, so 0, 3, 4 degrees, the speeds are set, we got heading, select, Green and uh, VNAV is white, it will capture when we are airborne, and now we can report. I just made my text report on Unicom, telling the other guy that we are departing, so he will hopefully not cross the runway. So then we switch on the auto throttle, or we arm it rather. And Toga selected, let's go. Okay, um, let's select vertical speed, and we go left here on a heading, autopilot is on. That's Command is green. Downwind heading roughly. Um, I'll make a small teardrop. Oh, I forgot to start our timer or chronometer. Flaps go to one. We have time to have a look quickly at who the other guy is. Uh, we can do that here in Swift, Follow and Simulator. There he is.
So he just vacated, but he's not moving anymore. Okay, yeah. he just reported that he vacated. All right, back to our cockpit. Oh, why is this auto throttle not working correctly? I think I have to go here to the settings, um, hardware, throttle noise lock on, uh, let's make it 7, nose wheel axis, yep, on, toe brakes, different, park brake, remove chocks, off, auto, ah yeah, this one we wanted, auto throttle engaged, locks the throttle, so when I move my throttle levers, here on my hardware, it will not anymore disconnect the other throttle by oversteering it. And now I have to go and quick save all configs, save home. So now, okay, now it's fine. You see, I'm I'm moving my throttle, so you can't see it, but you see that. The throttles are not moving anymore. Uh, Kai MSO 737. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing here some... I'm doing two circuits here, or one or two circuits here around Johannesburg. And then I will climb out and fly to Victoria Falls to land there. Maybe a little pass, low pass, visual pass by Victoria Falls, the actual the water cascades. And... Um, Let's go here left to one zero degrees. How far out are we? We are ten miles out. At eight thousand feet we will capture the glide slope at seven point seven demi, so I think we can already start turning base. So final course is zero three four degrees the base leg is 90 degrees off from it so that would be zero three four plus hundred is one three four minus ten is one two four degrees there we go 124 uh, let's switch on the terrain data So, so far here the, the, the frame rate check is okay, well, the distance check is okay. Slow down a little bit to not overshoot the localizer too much. So we are two two miles from the center line. Let's turn left, heading zero six five to intercept the uh, localizer and we arm the approach mode. Lock glide slope white or armed, depending on your procedures in your airline.
so lock green. There we go. I turned a bit late, probably. Yeah, we are overshooting a little bit. Why isn't the plane? Ah, I probably you see when you accidentally. Instead of setting the heading, you can as well set the bank angle limiter. And if you, yeah, like me, probably I, I missed the setting, or the, um, the heading buck knob, and that's why the plane didn't turn. So let's take flaps five, slow down 180. We have <coughs> six miles to run, so probably have to slow down even more. Let's make it 160. So the V2 on takeoff was 145 knots. We can as well use that as our uh, reference speed. So we're going to fly 150 for approach. Let's set 150 and let's get the flaps to 10. Auto brake off. Oh, my friend, you are overshooting here. Gear down. Oh la la, this autopilot is not doing what I want. Okay, autopilot off. Auto throttle off. We're doing this manual now, it's easier. Flaps 25. So we make a gonna make a touch and go. 1000. 1000 feet stabilized, Mr. Birch Altitude set. Yeah, a bit below the glide slope, I'm correcting. So we do just the flaps 30. Um, touch and go. So down three greens, auto brake off, speed brake not armed, that's correct. Flaps 30, green light, yeah, we got that. And down three greens, so um, we're gonna touch down with um, throttle idle. And then check the trim while we raise the flaps to Five, 10 degrees and then we go again. And then we fly out to Victoria Falls. Approaching 300. Hoppala. 200. I pulled a little bit too much. Yeah, continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. Point ten. Oh, come on. So trim is okay, and there we go. Flaps are set, and toga selected. happened I selected the wrong lever <laughs> let's go 145 yeah rotate Positive too low. gear up too low gear too low gear and yeah, too low gear too low it's all right gear. too low gear too low gear too low my friend we're going around 400 So, Elnav green, Vnav green, we're doing fine. What does? Let's go to Victoria Falls. Yeah, I don't have too much practice in touch and goes, so that was a little bit sketchy. Probably should have selected the flight director off, or I should have uh, changed the modes. Elnaf and Vnaf on the ground already, I don't know. So, we're now accelerating for two, Bells three, zero knots. Oh yeah, and we can climb to level three, six, zero right away. That's too much. Three, six, zero, standard set. Don't 
set my friend. Pause the break. Slaps one, selected. Speed check, flaps up, selected. Autopilot on, command green, Elna screen, Vina screen, so we are on our way. Alright, level 100, so gear off, so again, follow the columns, left, up, down, blah, 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 lights off, uh, la, 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 ignition auto, that's all good, all good, all good, wing light off, and let the monkeys jump, or the rabbits. So. Hey, dann, dann such Attila, Attili, 95. Ja. Ja, yeah, I don't want a facecam, an offline screen for my stream. No, no. I'm just flying here for fun, huh? don't worry. I'm okay. But thanks for the offer, it's very kind. Weather radar, we leave the terrain on the right side of the cockpit. Dansu Ratili, um, do you as well um, program plugins for Explain? Are you good on this?
So let's see, what kind of weather can we expect according to um, the satellite images here? Let's see, cloud top height. So there is something on the way here. We can run the video, the loop. It's not so nice there, but we're flying here to Victoria Falls and there's a bit of uh, some weather moving in from the east. So let's see. There is no weather information here. I hope that um, uh, here we go with uh, frames below. Let's have a look if my weather program does have weather for destination uh, um, Victoria Falls. You can load the flight plan here. There we go. We fly cruising at 36,000 feet. Average wind is almost nothing. Uh, let's see, weather report. Um, Victoria Falls, 260, it's from today, yeah, 1400 Z, that's one hour, ah, that's five minutes ago. 260 at 10 knots, few CB at 5000, 30 degrees, 1008. Okay. So we can already prepare the QH, 1008. Same here, 1008. And it's going to be probably a VUR approach for runway 30. I'm shortly away from the computer.
äh, sie haben neue Post, ne? <lacht>
Hello everybody! So, what are you doing here in my boring stream? Nothing going on. Oh, that's my reminder. Yeah. Let's postpone it by two hours. All right, so let's start uh, compare, comparing, the preparing our approach and landing. <coughs> Let me first get the charts so you can follow me in my briefing. Just have to load them. Uh, bloody Windows keeps changing my program assignment for PDF files. Oh, we're climbing. Why is that? <coughs> okay. No. That must be a bug after our touch and go in Joburg approach here. Yeah, yeah. So we got about, oh, we still have 320 miles to run. That's quite a bit. That's about like uh, 45 minutes. So 15, 13 Z, and then now it's, uh, it's 50 minutes. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit early to prepare the approach, but I still do it. So I have my hands free later on. Uh, so, Victoria Falls, we're gonna use the VUR DME approach for runway 3.0. Let's have a look at those charts. These are the ground charts. And there's the approach chart. So, let's see here. Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, VUR DME, runway 3.0. Uh, MSA is 4,900 feet in the north east of the field and the transition level by ATC altitude is 6.5 so maybe 7.5, 7.0 7.0 oh no, the QNH 1008 so let's, let's take 8.0 as transition level and as a note, pilots overflying Victoria Falls are to maintain a minimum altitude of 5000 feet Okay. Final approach will be 5,000 feet from the VUR. We fly outbound until DME 10.7, then the left turn to Fox Alpha 005, DME 10 as well, that's the intermediate fix, and then to Fox Alpha 004, DME 7. It's this point here, that's our final approach fix. And then we start a 3 degree glide, well, path rather, descent path down to the minimum, which will be 3,830 for us. And if we need to go around, it's maintain radial 297 to DME 6 after the station, climb 5000 feet, then turn left direct to the VUR, enter the holding or commence with another approach. Very good. So we need Victoria Falls VUR 16.7, 297 degrees. Nothing about this option here. So this thing does not have the VOR DME. Let's see what we have here. Oh no, VFA, Fox Alpha 005. Okay, it's not doing the procedure. So we're gonna have to fly the procedure uh, conventional. And then when turning final we can use um, 
L knife again. So we said we wanted to use the um, Victoria Falls VOR 116.7 116 116.7 and course 297 And the minimum was uh, 3,830 with a field elevation of 3,500 feet, so 3,830. There we go, 3,830, auto break 2. It's gonna be a flaps full approach. There we go. How are we doing? We're gonna land with 3.7 tons. Minimum fuel we said is 2.1 tons, so we have a lot of fuel to play with. Which means we can fly the scenic route initially. And scenic route means. Where is it? There we go. Scenic route means um, so here is Victoria Falls Airport. Might as well, they have an NDB near the field, but well, we don't care. <coughs> and this is already here, Zambia. And there is Livingston Airport, Livingston. And in between here, that is Victoria Falls. So here is the mighty Zambezi River, hidden below this blob of weather. I hope it's not too bad here as well in the simulator. We're gonna see something of the faults, and we're gonna hop hopefully see something here of the the, cask the water cascades. So the distance is about uh, positive rate. Eleven miles north of the field. All right.
positive rate. Yeah, positive rate. That's a bug.
So, what are you doing here in this boring stream, guys? <laughs> are you at work, watching on the side? Are you in a bus, in a train? Tell me. Yay! DB, but you are you're driving or you are on the train, in the bus, on an e-scooter. <laughs> what, what is a f ah the funk hole yeah okay very good yeah <laughs> funky hole what so are we flying by Maun soon let's see uh, station. Maun is here, in the Okavango Delta. I wonder if there are nice sceneries for the Okavango. Let's have a look.
Also FBMN Maunen. It's an ordinary from 2014. Victoria Falls Oh yeah maybe we have an unpleasant surprise the famous waterfalls are not modeled and explained let's have a look No, there's already version 5. Now I'm using version 4. Man, the last two days I've been updating all the time and today I did not check. Okay, that's a little bit of uh, sarcasm, yeah. So don't expect too much from Victoria Falls. <laughs> Okay, I probably have to use it with auto for explain. So, probably it's gonna be disappointing what we see there. <coughs> but yeah, well. Whatever. less than 20 miles to go for our top of descent that's at 10,000 feet initially only
So, descending. Set the QH already, 1008.
Äh, ach, Tibi, gerade sehe ich deine Frage. Ähm, ja, die Newbie-Abende haben Spaß gemacht, ja klar. Und, ähm, naja, wir haben 30 Leute betreut an vier Abenden insgesamt und, ähm, ich denke mal, von denen werden hoffentlich die meisten bleiben. Also bisher waren, also eigentlich waren alle zufrieden. Und, äh, unser Anspruch war ja, uns, und, well, unser Anspruch war an die Leute, dass sie schon im Prinzip fliegen können. Und das hat bei den meisten auch gut geklappt. Es gab nur ein, zwei Ausschläge nach unten, die dachten, sie könnten schon fliegen im Simulator, aber es war halt nicht so. Aber die muss man halt dann ähm, auf eine andere Bahn bringen und äh, anders versorgen, damit die den Rest nicht aufhalten. Aber trotzdem haben wir es geschafft, auch die dann in die Luft zu bringen. Also nicht in die Luft zu jagen, sondern in die Luft zu bringen. <lacht> damit die äh, uns auch da begleiten können. Aber eben unsere Anfängerabende waren eben gedacht nicht für Flusi-Anfänger, sondern für Online-Flug-Anfänger. Ja, ja, das sind aber hier sehr eckige Kanten. <lacht> was man nach, was macht man nicht alles für Frame Rates? Positive rate. Positive rate, really. Oh yeah, because it's slowing down from 290 to 240 knots and it pulled up too much. <laughs> well done. So, there's nobody, nobody around here in... You can see the swift radar, you see there's no traffic around here in uh, Victoria Falls. So I will not make any Unicom announcements. Let's have a look. Is there an airport? We are 10 miles from the field and it's straight ahead. Where's the airport? Ah, here. Yeah, that's the airfield. The tower, the new runway. 
the apron and there's the highway and if you follow this sorry if you follow this highway we will automatically get to Victoria Falls or whatever they have um, made here in explain you know what do we do it manually so autopilot off Flight director of I said five thousand feet. And now we have ten miles to run. Landing lights on. Seat belts on, <coughs> ignition continues in case we hit a bird. There's our target to come back to there is the the road and railway and they all they will all lead us to Victoria Falls. Oh you see there is something. Oh yeah yeah look but I have a feeling that it's not wallet very well. We check it out. out Genau, Mac Shadow's great again. Ich mag das, sehr gut. Bank angle. Bank angle. Ja, ja. Da ist, das ist der Gorge of Victoria Falls. Oh, but we need to turn around because oh, we have to go westbound. Bank angle. Bank angle. Yeah, we don't care for bank angle. I've been to the ATM already today. No, I haven't. <coughs> oh yeah, you're, st you're not stalling. Bullshit. <coughs> so minimum clean is 210 roughly. We don't want to go slower in clean configuration.
yeah. In the real world, it looks better. Definitely, yeah. Well, they're trying it, but they did not succeed. Was it great? Yeah, this is the bridge over to Zambia. Livingston Airport. No, this is not really what it is about here in Victoria Falls. What a pity. That would be a market to explore, to create a nice scenery. So then let's fly back to the uh, Victoria Falls VUR and start our approach. So we fly to the VUR, then 20 seconds outbound and then left 117 until 10.7 DME. Hoppala. Watch your speed, gentlemen. Light is in um, raw data. So, Bybee, why are you descending? I gave you enough trim to descend. So we are now flying on course 160, 170 to the VUR, that's about this course here. So after we leave the VUR, we make a slight right turn, so 117 plus 90 is 207, so we make a slight right turn, hitting 200 or 207, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and then left turn out on 117. This plane keeps turning right, with the yoke centered. What is this? Bank angle. Bank angle. Was it great? Yeah. Still the bug from our. Um, touch and go in Johannesburg. So we are over the VUR, 
Start the clock. Pause the break. Turn right. Roughly heading 200. There we are. Okay, we start the clock again. We give it 10 seconds from now. Pause the break. And then we turn left on heading 197. Sorry. 117. Pause the break. stay on this heading until we reach DME 10.7 of Victoria Falls VOR and then we turn left on base let's start configuring a little bit let's give it flaps 5 Come on, why are you climbing? Yeah, I know the flaps. Have changed the trim. The required trim. Two miles to go. Let's prepare the heading buck for final turn to nine or seven degrees. Pause the break. One mile to go for the left turn. And 10.7 DME, V turn Pause left. Break. So the next point Pause is break. FA005 is at DME 10. And at FA004, which is DME 7, we start our final descent to the runway. Come on, stop climbing, baby. There we go for the view arm. So I really have to descend to 5,000 feet now and maintain it. It's really annoying that I can't maintain it. Why? Bit of crossing from the left, so we go to heading two nine four five. Pause the break. Got two miles to run for the final head. So speed bug goes back to one fifty. 
Empty and we give it flap it's ten gear down. One mile to go. Flap fifteen. And we descent. Perhaps 25. Perhaps 30. So we check at DME 64670 feet. So we are 130 feet high, that's good. So we keep a higher rate. Flaps full. Get down three greens, flaps full. Green light, air brake or speed brake armed, One green mile. light and So DME5, we want to be at 4350. Okay, we are slightly below the profile. We have to reduce the rate now. Ground speed is 150. 5 times 150 is 750 feet. Descent rate. At DME4 we want to be at 4037 feet, so we are a little bit below the profile. And there's the runway, Five. so Five we have three. to we now have to maneuver visually. So obviously the VOR is not aligned. No. I wasn't aligned with the radial. Good job man. I'm way too high, and now we go around. Minimums. Yeah. Gear up. Gear. Four hundred. Gear. Too low. Gear. And we fly another circuit. One thousand. Why is the speed going down? What is this? Flaps 15 and we maintain 5,000 feet. Speed 180. Let's make it 200. And we go back to flaps 5. We make a 30 degree teardrop to join again the downwind. Time elapsed, we turn left slowly on heading 117. We have a bit of wind from the right, so we give it 2 degrees um, wind correction, so we make it heading 119 to stay on track. Oops, I overturned a little bit. Two miles to go for the left turn. Hi Kirsten. Das genau richtig zum ersten Go around. Gleich kommt der nächste Anflugversuch. Flaps 
So 10.7 Demi, we turn left again. Intercept course 297 to Victoria Falls VOR. Let me quickly check on the second screen, the radar. There's nobody around. No, it's good. And no ATC. So just to remind ourselves, so at 10 DME we should be on final, at 5000 feet as well, and then at DME 7 we start our descent on Positive 297 track to the VOR. There's our radio, it's coming, 297, and we're climbing, we don't want to climb. So this time it is looking better. Positive rate. Let me already select like the final approach speed, because later on I'm not going to have time. We have two miles to go for the final approach fix. Flaps 10, or of course, it's unhappy if I don't extend the gear with more than flaps 5. Yeah, yeah. Flaps 15, half a mile to go for the final approach fix, flaps 25, and DME 7, we descent, flaps 30, and flaps 40. Next checkpoint is DME 6, 4, 6, 70 feet. Yeah, we are on profile, but we're descending way too fast, so I have to correct that. And we are drifting off the VUR course again, so this time we're correcting it. On the previous approach, I was too much focused on maintaining the correct light path or descent path. DME 5, we want to be at 4, 3, 50 feet. 1,000. Thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Perch, altitude set. Yeah. So five thousand set. Get down three greens. Flaps full green light. Speed brake arm. Auto brake two. DM four four thousand feet. Exactly on path, so we can continue our descent with our standard 500. 700 to 800 feet a minute. Approaching minimums. Correcting slightly. Minimums. Continue. 300. There's no puppy. Probably it was stolen here by thieves overnight. 200. Very interesting runway. It's not really even 80 knots. So, is there a taxiway? There should be one, yeah. 
few hundred meters. Let's have a look on our chart yeah, here. The taxiway is called taxiway. <laughs> That's the taxiway, I think. Yeah, it is. Fuß sind gerade. Ist okay. Ist okay. Damit kann ich leben, ja. Aber es waren zwei Landungen, ne? Weil die Bahn ist ziemlich krumm hier. Die ist schief und offenbar noch über den Hügel drüber gebaut. <lacht> Let's do some after landing stuff here. Top. Strobe off. APU on. Oh, I have to correct our taxi path. So let's continue our stuff here. La 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 la. APU is starting up. Transponder standby. Trim is set. Yeah. APU connected. Taxiway, yeah, there is. Ready for track IR? Uh, there we go. Hey Mikoi, yes I am, I'm a real pilot. Otherwise I wouldn't ride it, would I? Hmm? We could do like this. Yay, yay. I'm a real pilot, yeah. I'm not drunk now. Let's take the first stand here. Taxi light up off so we don't blind the people on the ground. Oh, I forgot to switch off the auto brake in the after landings.
So park brake set. APU generator is connected. And then fuel off. Chocks in place. Fasten belts off. And let's do the rest. Beacon off. Fuel pumps off except for one. Electric pump and all the probe heats and window heats. Cool, that's it. We made it. Welcome to Victoria Falls. Without Victoria Falls, well, they are there, but they're not very pretty. What a shame. Bye bye Mr. Mobutu. This is then Mr. Mobutu, he's the uh, pendant to uh, Africa's pendant to uh, Mr. Escobar. Mobutu or Idi Amin. So let's see, we started with 7.3 tons of fuel and we have 2.2 three two point four pounds of fuel left. That makes us having used five tons of fuel. And do I still have the old flight plan? No, I have to load it. Let's see what the forecast was. Although it's um So we were supposed to consume 3.5 tons of fuel, we consumed 5 tons, but that's okay because in Johannesburg we flew one circuit and ILS after takeoff and then we only went en route to Victoria Falls and in Victoria Falls we made a quick or short scenic flight around the non-existing Victoria Falls and then we had to do a mist approach, so that's okay. That's within the expected. Um, and doggy. Alright, so this is the end. See you later.